Hi guys, so today I'm filming a very exciting video that was pretty highly requested because I just announced my discount code with the brand BDK Parfum. I'm going to quickly go into it, but basically today I'm going to be doing a buying guide and I have my top favorites from BDK in front of me and I wanted to kind of go through them and if you were confused about what to buy and if you really wanted to take advantage of my discount code that is starting on the 30th, so in two days from when I'm filming this, I want I wanted to film like a buying guide. If you were confused, if you didn't know what to buy, I wanted to kind of help you guys. And I do have my top favorites. So there is some from the brand of BDK that I don't really like. So I didn't really want to include them in this video. Anyways, going to my discount code, I am running a discount code that was super highly requested. A lot of people, I mentioned that I would try to get a discount code because I know a lot of people are very interested in this brand right now, especially like around like three or or four of their fragrances everyone is very interested and I thought I might be able to negotiate some sort of discount with a website or maybe BDK themselves so I really wanted to try and do it for you guys if you wanted to purchase a bottle and I managed to get it so what's really exciting is that I have a discount code a 10% off BDK discount code running from the 30th it is the 28th when I'm filming this and it starts on the 30th the discount code is gonna be through luckyscent.com if you don't know, Lucky Scent is actually one of my favorite online retailers, along with like Max Aroma, uh, Nordstrom, Galleries Lafayette, depending where you are in the world. And for me, Lucky Scent is fantastic. I've used them many times. I'm in Paris, by the way. That's why it's so noisy. I'm sorry, guys. I've used Lucky Scent many times myself, so I was very happy that they wanted to partner on this BDK exclusive discount code. So let me just quickly explain. The discount code is 10% off any BDK perfume of this size, like the real bottle, not the samples like this, just the bottle. We have it from the 30th of September and it's running for five days only. So it is like an exclusive code. It's not going to run for like one month or two months or seven weeks it's nothing like this it's only five days because bdk is a newer brand it was launched in 2016 the brand isn't really willing to offer discounts like so the fact that we managed to do this it's pretty exciting so my code on luckyscent.com is lucky demi and that's going to get you 10 percent off any bdk fragrance so anyways i'm going to stop rambling about it the information will be linked down below if you guys are interested bdk is a beautiful brand that i'm so so happy that i discovered and i just love everything about it so trust me on this one it's a beautiful brand you're going to find something within the line that you love and let's just get into it so i did kind of categorize the fragrances from like light medium heavy heavier so i'm just going to go through them very casually talk about if they're women men unisex compliment getter long lasting short lasting whatever i'm going to give you guys the whole entire download so the first fragrance that i have here is called citrus riviera now this fragrance was recently launched this year. It is from their Mediterranean collection where there is two fragrances like this, one called Sel d'Argent and one called Citrus Riviera. I'm not the biggest fan of Sel d'Argent just because it has this very marine aquatic feeling that I didn't really like. It's not a bad fragrance, I just didn't like it. Whereas Citrus Riviera is amazing. It's this very bright, crisp, and very bitter citrus scent. It's very bitter. Now, personally, I love my citruses like this, but I do think it is more of a masculine sort of citrus. So if you're a guy and you like fragrances like Elysium from Roja, like Elysium Parfum pour Homme Cologne, such a long name, or even the new uh, Greenlee from Parfum de Mali, that sort of thing, like the bergamot, the neroli, that citrusy, sharp feeling to the scent very like fresh and invigorating and really nice this does last a long time surprising that it's a citrus on my skin personally and on pierre's we get like five hours where i would say from this scent and i just love it so for me this one is such a great scent for men and women if you're looking for a citrus scent if you're looking for something super unique and complex and wow then don't get this one but if you are this is the one for you so citrus riviera Definitely a good one. So next up, we have one for the ladies, and this is Bouquet de Oncle. As you can see, I wear this one a lot. Now, this fragrance for me, it's very feminine. This is not for men, women, anyone. This is a very feminine scent. I would say it is reminiscent of Chanel Chante Au Tendre, that really watery and crisp and ethereal floral scent. It's not like a 
rose in your face, a peony in your face, a Delena from Parfum de Mali like this. It's much more like light and transparent and beautiful and soft and it's not going to give you a headache at all. It's very soft and beautiful but I do say that this isn't the most unique from the line whatsoever so do keep that in mind if you did want to get a BDK and you wanted to get one of the more unique ones this isn't it but in my opinion they did this fragrance so well that it's just it's a beautiful scent. I cannot fault it in the way that it smells. It is really beautiful and very easy to wear. Longevity is not great. Again, I would say maybe like four, five hours. And for me, I like to wear this one going to lunch, running errands, doing casual stuff, going to the park or whatever I'm doing. I chuck on Bouquet de Oncle, but for me, it's not like a night out fragrance or something like that. So I do really enjoy this one. And I think a lot of girls would love this one. And it's a great gift if you have like a... A partner that you want to get something really easy that you know that she's gonna like this one is probably a good bet so next up we're moving to like the middle range so these are not light but they're not heavy if that makes sense sense so the next fragrance is called creme de cuir and now this fragrance is one of David who is the founder of the brand David Benedek this is one of his favorites and I really see why what is going on here okay it's a very unique and creative fragrance yet being so so beautiful so for me what i get from this is this beautiful sweetness a real creaminess there's a suede note to the fragrance which does have like a leathery touch but without being like an animalic leather a dirty leather a crazy leather it's this beautiful soft leather scent I just adore it. It's so well done, guys. Like, it's so well done. There is, like, a musky undertone to it as well. It is gorgeous. Really, like, enveloping. It's a sort of fragrance that you wear when you're wearing a beautiful cashmere scarf. You spray this on and you smell fantastic. So, Clem de Queer. I do personally recommend it for men and women. I don't think it's more feminine, more masculine. For me, this one is 100% unisex. But you do have to like your kind of sweet, soft, leather... A little creamy sort of sense and this is perfect so love 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 okay so next up we have one of my favorites from the entire line I would say I have like three favorites for me personally and this is one of them and I did get a bottle yay <laughs> this is passe soir now this fragrance guys it is hands down one of my most complimented perfumes at the moment out of my whole collection that I have here with me in Paris this is my most complimented passe soir to me it is this like sweet but fruity but a floral but not really a floral it has this really like sexy intoxicating scent to it that i just adore you get this kind of burnt caramel sugar vibe under some floral notes under i think there's some jasmine in here it's just gorgeous not too heavy i would say it's really like sexy and playful scent this is actually pierre's favorite fragrance from bdk on me and every time i wear it he gives me a compliment i'm not joking i can bring him in and ask him he really loves passe soir and every time i wear it he asks me what i'm wearing so love it very sexy i would say this one is more feminine for sure and definitely for the woman who wants to stand out get noticed attract the guys or the girls whatever you want this is the one for you so next up we have rouge smoking i only have my little sample of it because my bottle is back in dubai but rouge smoking to me is one of the favorites from the line this is a beautiful gourmand like beautiful gourmand without being too sickly sweet or heavy or sugary or too much this is a really refined high quality gourmand it has a smooth buttery creamy powdery feeling to the scent there is a cherry uh note in the fragrance but it doesn't smell like syrupy fruity cherry it smells more like which david was actually explaining they worked around the seed of the cherry which you can really smell because it has a very nutty facet to the scent like this almondy warm tonka bean vibe with this like red fruit touch to it that just smells fantastic really again warm and enveloping and cozy and i just adore it so rue smoking is definitely one of my favorites and i feel like a lot of you will love this one especially if you like your gourmands so definitely check this one out if it appeals to you and then you guys know my favorite is gris chanel now the reason that i love this one is because it 
represents like French chic to me. It just smells so classy and Parisian and elegant and refined and really unique, you know, like I'm always looking for more unique fragrances and this gives me that same, that it gives me that I smell unique feeling. It's a beautiful sandalwood, creamy, a little milky spiced vanilla, but not too much. You just have to smell this one. It really cannot be explained. It's so well blended. You don't really get any sort of note that pops out more than the other. But if I could explain it, it's this very like warm, milky, woody, sandalwood scent. I cannot explain how much I love this one. Longevity for me, it's one of my longest lasting BDKs on my skin personally. I always get wafts of it in the day and I just adore it. So for me, this is one of the best from the house easily. It's just so sensual and luxurious. For me personally, it is like a unisex scent. I could see this one on men and women. So definitely check this one out. Gris Chanel. And moving on to the two heavier fragrances from BDK that I have and I love, we have Tuberouse Imperial. Now, this fragrance to me is a beautiful, sweet, bubblegum, warm, vanilla, sexy tuberose scent. I told you guys many times I really don't like tuberose at the moment. I'm off it. I find it kind of obnoxious and annoying to wear and I'm just not a big fan of it. But Tuberose Imperial, it is just fantastic. For me, Personally, it is a much more refined version of Mancera's Velvet Vanilla. You could also compare it to Mikalef, Martin Mikalef Watch. It is that more like bubblegum, tuberose, sweet, but not too sweet. And that's why I love tuberose Imperial. I had a phase where I was loving Mancera's Velvet Vanilla because it's a very sweet, warm, bubblegum tuberose, very sexy and playful, but it did become... It became a little bit sickly and tuberose imperial for me it gives me that perfect balance it's not sickly it's not too much but i just adore it such a good tuberose scent it has that vanilla notes it has the jasmine the tuberose the sweet notes almost like a pear note as well to it just love it and for me it lasts a very long time on my skin so tuberose imperial tuberose imperial Fantastic. I would say it's definitely more feminine than masculine, so more one for the ladies for sure. If you like your tuberose fragrances, you're going to adore this one. Finally, we have one that grew on me a lot and I'm really obsessed with this scent and I'm not just saying it. This one is Tabaros or Tabac Rose, as I would say it. Now, this scent is super unique super 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 unique and that's why i love it to me this fragrance smells super super complex it has so many different layers and edges to the fragrance that i just adore this is a rose with some tobacco with some chocolate with a fruitiness to it it is just super super unique like i said guys i cannot even explain it but if i could say I would say for me, it's like a sweet rose scent, but it has almost like this sour passion fruit note that really like punches you and it really catches you off guard. As it dries down, it does become more of that kind of sweet, powdery, chocolatey rose that you love and we all know. But at the beginning, it has something super unique and crazy about it that I just adore. Longevity on this one is insane. I recommend it 100% to men and women. If you like your more like rose, a little bit, dare I say, Middle Eastern, but not really. It's more like a Montal Intense Cafe, Lancome Oud Bouquet, but it has something a little more unique than both of those fragrances. It doesn't have like the sickly sweetness that I love in those scents have, but it doesn't have that sickly sweetness. But fantastic scent, adore it. And I really feel like this one could be a favorite of a lot of people if you like the more intense fragrances. So Tabaros from BDK. And don't forget that I have my 10% off discount code with BDK through luckyscent.com. Like I said, guys, already, I'm gonna link everything down below so it's not so confusing. I did already mention it in my previous video, but I just wanted to mention it again in case you did want to get a BDK. Now is your chance with the 10% off code. I don't see them doing a code with like anyone else right now because like I said it's a newer brand so I don't think they're going to discount it so if you wanted to get 10% off I have my code lucky demi and it is running with lucky send 
from the 30th of September for five days only. So very exciting. I couldn't believe that they wanted to work with me on this code. I was really happy about it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will talk to you soon. And let me know if you have any uh, comments or any uh, questions about BBK fragrances. If you need my opinion or my help, I will definitely uh, let you guys know. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.